Wiener dogs dressed like hot dogs. Celebrities. Nothing brings America together like Bud Light. Singing sheep. Anybody find me? More celebrities. Hey! The Super Bowl turns 50 this year, and the business behind television commercials during the biggest sporting event in America is more expensive than ever. A 30-second ad can go like for as much as a staggering $5 million. But with an estimated audience of more than 114 million people, advertisers are willing to pay. What? There are very few places advertisers can go to get a lot of people in one shot and the Super Bowl is it. Last year, the Super Bowl had a record 114 million viewers. That sort of opportunity simply doesn't exist in this day and age. The goal is to get people talking, like last year's Budweiser ad featuring their iconic Clydesdale horses and a cute puppy dog becoming best friends. It's still early on. We may still see a viral hit, but I predict this year will be a little bit more tempered in part because of the distraction of the political campaign and because everybody's playing it, it seems, a little safe. Advertisers are opting to ditch the more crass and vulgar ads and increasingly focus more on serious issues. Here is Colgate, a first-time Super Bowl ad buyer, urging people to stop wasting water. The collective we are dumbfounded that people still drive drunk. Budweiser is another so one that like um, also has a very serious tone, although delivered by Helen Mirren with a, a bit of a cheeky flair. So she has a little bit of fun with it, but the message is very serious. While many companies roll out their commercials online, online like before the big game to build a social media campaign around their spot, other advertisers like Coca-Cola and Chrysler are choosing to keep their ads a secret, building even more hype for Super Bowl Sunday. Brian Allen, VOA News. It's hard to resist great taste.